when last we met, we learned that Fran had been kidnapped when she tried to use the bathroom during a robbery. Now, she was being held for ransom by Red Raccoon, the capricious casino capo. And I still have to use the toilet! Currently, Fanny and the pack are on their way back to town to rescue their fretful friend in an exchange that I'm sure will go perfectly and not have any surprises whatsoever. The narrator's got a point. How do we know we're not walking into a trap? It's possible. Maybe they'll try to ambush us. That alley has three exits that they could come from. Plus, they could come down from the rooftops, as the surrounding buildings are all single story, save for the casino at two stories. Except the bookstore. Oh, yeah. How tall is it? I don't know, but it sure has a lot of stories in it. Ugh. Ugh. Faith, head on up to the roof of the casino. At the first sign of trouble, well, you know what to do. Got it, boss. I'll take the money and this jug of moonshine and make the handoff. Moonshine? Yep. It's my secret weapon. What, you're going to give him a hangover? No, I... Get him arrested for possession? Look, I... You're not going to try that drunken boxer shtick again, are you? Faith, take a hike. I'm going to meet up with Ferris. We'll be watching. I wish she wouldn't say it like that. Fanny made her way into the alley, which was unsurprisingly poorly lit. Unlike that drunk in the corner, who was very lit. At the same time, Faith climbed up the fire escape, where she came upon an unexpected surprise. Two men, probably some of Red's goons. I can get the drop on one, but the second won't be a picnic. So, how long now? Should be any minute. Feels like we've been up here for hours. That's because we have been up here for hours. I told you we got up here too early. Hey, for a $25,000 reward, I'll wait up here all day. Yeah, but once we get our share, it'll be jack all. <laughs> Dang, it is a setup. And with cops. Oh, my voice. I gotta warn Fanny. Fanny! Fanny! Oh, no good, my throat is shot. And if I don't warn Fanny, it won't be the only thing that's shot. Meanwhile, Fanny was not so far below, getting ready for a meeting of her own. So, you're the infamous Fanny Fennec, the scourge of the Sierras, the butcher of the Badlands, the crook of the Cascades. <laughs> I've heard a lot about you. I can't say the same about you. Yes, well, I can assure you that in this town I am quite well known. I am the Supreme Lord and Master. Nothing happens here unless I say so. I've got my fingers in everybody's pie. Sounds like a sticky business. Hiya, boss! Fran, glad you're okay. Next time, dummy, use the toilet before we initiate a massive death-defying heist. Sorry, boss. And you, Red. Here's your cash. And just as a cherry on top, here's a bottle of the finest moonshine the Cascades has to offer. I despise a waste of good alcohol. Well then, you're gonna hate this. If you try anything, then I toss my cigarillo and your cash goes up in flames. Now hand over my dits. Now, boys! Suddenly, the louse alighted, as he wasn't lit, but a lieutenant. More cops poured in, and the back alley became a battlefield. Bullets bounced around and blew past at blusterous speeds. Fran was amazing with a gun. Unfortunately, all she could currently do was hop away. Faith did what she could from the roof, but was quickly outgunned. As Fanny dove for cover, she tossed her smoke, but it missed. Underhanded, not overhanded, you dummy. Ugh. All right, Fennec. 
toss the shotgun and come on out. You are surrounded. With little recourse, Fanny did just that. The cops wasted no time in slapping the cuffs on her. Thank you kindly, Sheriff. That bounty of yours, Fennec, will make my bank account very happy. Ah, oh, so that's it, eh? Cashing in the bounty on my head? Well, too bad for you the sheriff caught me, and he can't accept the bounty. Well, in the report I'm about to write, it says that Red and his men caught you. Let me guess. You'll get a slice of the reward for it, won't you? Maybe. Going after the bounty and the cash. Red, you're double dipping. You don't know the half of it. That cash was insured. <gasps> Triple dipping. Take her away, boys. And with that, they hauled Fanny across town to the jailhouse. It doesn't look good, folks. Oh, what will become of our Fanny? Join us on our next show, Jailhouse Fox or Fanny on the Rocks.